I'm Ashley, and I usually travel with my husband Christian. But every year, my dad and I take a trip together. We decided to head to Switzerland and Italy this time, places we've been before but keep coming back to. I am so excited to share some new to us spots as well as some old favorites. We have a short flight to Chicago as usual. This video series will not be Ashley and Christian, it will be Ashley and Grant. <laughs> So we have landed at O'Hare and we are waiting just to find the transit to get us to Terminal 5, which is where international departures lead out of. So far it's been pretty smooth. Crossing everything because I feel like I have a really bad history. He's like shaking his head, like don't speak that over us. <laughs> I just have been extremely unlucky recently this year with flights. <laughs> this is gonna be the one that goes right. So maybe it's Christian that's the problem. No. If this one goes right, it's Christian that's no, the problem. Good luck to We are on our flight and I've actually never flown Swiss Air, but it's really nice. We did pay for premium seating. It was only $50 though per, like per way. We have landed in Zurich, made it through immigration. It really didn't take that long. It was the amount of people that landed at once that took a long time. We're going to go find our rental car place. I've never driven around Switzerland before. We've always just used trains, so this will be really fun, new experience. We have just arrived at our Airbnb in Appenzell, which is where we're gonna be staying for the next couple days. And I just wanted to show you what we got because we only paid about $100 a night. We're in a pretty rural area. I wouldn't say that this is somewhere to stay without a car. We have a nice little sitting area outside with a beautiful view of the rolling hills, a nice indoor sitting area, fully equipped kitchen, of course. We have decided to venture out into Appenzell for the evening to just drive around and get some of the views of the area. This area of Switzerland is known for being extremely green. It's not a lot of um, rough, sharp mountain peaks, but more so these beautiful rolling hills. There's a lot of cows. Right behind us is called Santis, and there's actually a cable car that goes up to the top here. Look how beautiful this is. And you can see up there, the little weather station slash cable car station. We are starting our first day in Appenzell by taking a cable car, of course. We paid 17 franc each, and we do have a half fare card. Basically, the half fare card is 120 franc for a month, 
and you get the entire, for that whole entire month, you get half price on most cable cars, trains, and gondolas in Switzerland. It usually evens out to be a pretty good deal. Uh, we're gonna save quite a bit of money over the next few weeks. You come out quite a bit in elevation in that short amount of time and look at the view behind us. This is like picturesque Appenzell behind us. Like just the rolling green hills and how the light's shining on it. It's so beautiful up here. One of the best things about Switzerland and their cable cars and the whole network is that there's always many hiking trails. Like you could end up anywhere. So we've just been walking for about 15 minutes and we came out to this view. We can actually see the Santa's cable car up there, which is where we drove to yesterday. There's a couple of restaurants down there. There's one up on this, <laughs> this mountain over here that's a restaurant. We are finally making our way to the kind of famous cliffside mountain restaurant hut thing. We ended up doing a like a big panoramic loop, not necessarily on purpose, but it worked out really well. We ended up connecting around and making our way down. There's this really funny sign saying that children have to be on a leash to hike this area because of the exposure on the cliffside, but it's kind of funny. I've never seen a sign telling you that your kid has to be on a leash. It's always a dog, not a kid, but. We are eating inside of the little mountain hut. We got some hot chocolate and then ordered some sausage or something like that. It's nice and warm in here and it's kind of raining outside. So this is a nice little break. There's a lot of hikers in here. You can kind of see here behind me how it's built up into the cliffside. little stop is this cave system that just kind of popped out of nowhere. It's just kind of cool they have this carved out and we can just walk through it. Hello, hello. Today is pretty cloudy and overcast, but it's not raining, so that's good. We've decided instead of trying to go up a cable car today, we're gonna save it for when it gets sunnier later in the week and do a little bit of a hike to a lake. Four mile round trip hike, so it should be nice and easy, but we've parked our car over here and we're headed into the forest. Right behind me here is the little kind of cable car system they have to send supplies and groceries and stuff up to the hotel that is up by the Ebon Alp cable car.
we've made it to pretty much the end of the trail. You can see the civilization behind us. There's a few hotels and restaurants up here, but let me tell you, it might only be a mile and a half, but some of that grade was 45 degrees of just like straight climbing up. So it's no joke, but it was still pretty easy. It's on like a paved trail the whole time. This lake that we're walking around is the lake that we saw yesterday when we were hiking. So this right here is the mountain we were walking. We walked around, kind of circled, and then we could see this lake below. This whole ridgeline area up here is where we were walking yesterday to get to that restaurant. It's a new way to hold your camera. Got your strap wrapped on your head. Get it right there. We're making our way down from the lake and on the way up we pass these vending machines and I just want to show them to you. This is an ice cream vending machine and then back here, that's cheese. They have cheese in their vending machines because Switzerland and this area is known for their cheeses. We're back in Vosser Allen and that's where we parked our car, but we are gonna hop on this Appenzeller Bahn, which is something really cool to do here is ride the train through Appenzell. So we are going to take it to Appenzell, kind of explore that little city. It's a car-free village, so we thought it'd be easier to hop on the train and head there rather than drive and trying to find parking outside. But it's only 290 for like a 15 minute train ride. This train is pretty dang empty. We are here in September which is kind of shoulder season in Switzerland. Still usually pretty popular, but there's not a lot of people out today. This little square behind me is the town center. A lot of these buildings are painted with really pretty frescoes on the side. It's a super quaint village. Lots of little shops, bakery stuff. I think we're going to go into one. 